I am looking for trail shoes and in this video I'm gonna show you how I'm looking for them and which one I'm gonna buy. Um, keep in mind that your own process is probably a little bit different than mine but I just want to share what my considerations and thoughts are. So the first thing I'm looking at is the type of terrain that I'm going to run. So um, around here there are like trails uh, that uh, through the forest with mud, uh, there is sand at the beach and the dunes, uh, dunes so slight hills, uh, it's still the Netherlands, not much hills, not really mountains and it's still the Netherlands as I said and it's really wet all the time. So I prefer waterproof shoes and I also think that the light trail shoe category would fit my uh, running uh, preferences the best. The second thing was cushioning. Um, in my current shoes I have a lot of cushioning because uh, I am just coming back from an injury and I want to take it easy and I think that is also best to choose like for a lot of cushioning here in uh, these shoes as well especially that because uh, I won't be running really much technical trails at this moment and only uh, like to the sands, uh, some uh, gravel roads or the third one the heel to toe drop in my current shoes the Cayenne 29 from Essex have a uh, drop of 10 millimeters so I want to stay around that because I don't uh, just want to experience trail shoes and not really uh, decrease or increase my heel drop because I think that's better it's just my first shoe so just let's keep let's keep that the same the fourth thing is the fit of the shoe my foot are all quite small and Essex I've had a lot of experience with these shoes and I feel like that's my brand at this moment because um, I've been running in them for like a few years now, also my current shoes are from Essex and I think uh, it's best to stay with one brand at this moment. Um, and uh, I think, uh, yeah, I'm going for the Essex and with the size of uh, 43 and a half, because my current normal shoe size is uh, 42. And then we have the fifth thing, that's the uh, support. In my normal shoes I have uh, anti-pronation shoes because uh, I severely over pronate and I need to be corrected for that at this uh, mo moment and here in the Netherlands you don't have like all these technical trails and the path that I will be running on will be quite straight um, so there will be a lot, lot of the same impact so I think that I should choose for safe and look for anti-pronation features in these running shoes as well I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I will come back on this in my next video. So now we come to my choice. Which shoes did I choose as my first trail running shoes? So it's an Essex shoe, the, and it is the Trabuco, 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 blah, 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 Trabuco Gel 10 uh, GTX, uh, because that's waterproof and I like that. I want uh, dry feet during running. These shoes have a drop of 8 mm, my cunning road running shoes, the Essex Cayenne, have a drop of 10 mm, so I stay in approximately the same range. And I am a front uh, runner that's landing on the front, so I land on my forefoot, and therefore I chose like 8 mm because that's like um, uh, a bit supporting my running pattern. This shoe has anti-pronation features and also a lot of cushioning and um, actually this shoe is an all-rounder and that's actually exactly what I'm looking for right now in a uh, trail running shoe because it's my first trail running shoe, my first experience, let's choose for an all-rounder and uh, yeah I'm really curious of how this is uh, going to feel like when I'm gonna run. These are the shoes that I bought, the, uh, the Essex Trabuco 10 TTX, I don't know if I pronounced everything right but uh, they really seem like good shoes to me, they, they look nice and uh, but now I can't review them of course because I have not tried them on. Uh, I'm going to run out for a run today and in the coming weeks I will be testing them more and I will come back to you um, with a review of this shoe with regard also to the previous point that I've been talking about. So if you're interested in how my choice turned out to be um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up and hopefully see you in the next video.